Hello guys, welcome to the channel. So it's pretty late here tonight, so I'm not going to be playing today, but I'll be showing you how I set up my drum kit. You'll probably see more detail of this on the concert, but yeah, let's get started. I have my seat here, kind of organized everything to make things easier, so I'm going to make this out of the way. So I already have the bass drum and the tom drums where I want them to be, right in the middle. So now I just gotta move my cymbals around. This cymbal's already where it's supposed to be, these cymbals are not. First thing we wanna do is get these cymbals out of the way and organize everything. The minor cymbal, HCS series. We're gonna move the tom drum out of the way as well. I have and the most important symbols that I play the most the China symbol and the ride symbol alright now with all that stuff out of the way let's get started so we have my snare drum stand down here. We want to unscrew this so that we can bring the legs out. Now that the legs are out. To actually set the drum onto this, you got to move this back like that. And then finally, this will be the left pick and you move it down to let the drum sit on top of here. And this symbol will you not need to be here. This is the foot pedal. It has a little indent so that you can actually put the bass drum in to this so that the foot pedal doesn't go flying off of the drum. Because sometimes when you hit the drum a lot of times and it's not clipped in, then it can go like that and you're having less contact with the bass drum making less sound. And you don't want less sound out of your bass drum. Now we're going to get our snare drum stand and put it right here. Just like that, it's in. We're going to remove these drumsticks. These are my Zildjian 7A dip drumsticks. My go-to drumsticks. Really light, good playing fast. Just gonna put this over here for a second. Where are they supposed to go? Next we're gonna wanna adjust this a bit and move this over so it's not really in my way. And adjust these to be perfect with what I would want to play. When you're playing in a concert, you want your setup to be absolutely perfect, and that's what I want here. I always aim for my perfection to be perfect, whether I'm going to have the drum kit here for a short period of time or a long period of time. I always want it to be perfect. You open up the hi-hat. To open up the hi-hat, you use this lever. Close it. To open it. We're going to put it over here. Now, back to this symbol. We're going to adjust this symbol. This is to make it go up and down. This is to make it go higher. We want to make it go higher so that I can hit it. I usually play with them up higher because it's better for recording drums. But we usually don't want to have them that high in the concerts. You just put them right there. To adjust this, if you want to move it instead of facing this way, then you just go loosen this, face it the way that you want. And that's the first half of the drum kit. Now, we're going to go and put my chair down so I can see 
and adjust the height to see where my drums are and see if I did a good job or not. We want to make this higher to my height. Just a few justifications need to be done. Yeah, it looks pretty good so far. Looks like how I want it to be. This dumbbell keeps my cymbals from falling over over there. This is my floor tom. Next thing we're going to do with this, we're going to put it down and make sure it's in the perfect position for me when I'm playing. I'm going to test this with a fill with my hands because it's, I don't want to play too loudly because it's nighttime. I would have probably missed the drum. I know the drum sticks are longer, but I would probably missed the drum. No one bring this in. That seems about perfect. And with drum sticks, I'll be even easier. Next thing, right here. We're going to want to adjust this to make this the right height. Not too much because that symbol over there that I have, the China symbol and the rim symbol, we're going to put higher, but we don't want this to be too high. We'll also put this right in between these. And that should probably be about good, right there. Now, this is a very complicated thing. This right here has many different knobs. I don't know why it had to be so complicated. It's kind of dumb. But to adjust the height, we just want to unscrew this. And raise that up a bit. You also want to unscrew the other one on this side. To make that go up. And you either lower it or raise it. You want this to be higher. Make sure the bolts are tight because my last concert, this actually fell down on top of the tom drum, making it harder for me to play it. So we want to make sure everything's tight before the concert. You don't want to loosen that, you want to tighten that. And just like that, you'll put it over here. Now, you put the right symbol over the crash symbol here, you move this over here. I do not recommend moving it over there, I would recommend actually loosening the bolt. The last step is putting the dumbbell onto the symbol to make sure it doesn't fall over. And just like that, that's how I set up my drum kit. Thanks for watching. Like I said, we're not going to be playing in this video. So see you next time.